As of the 1st of July 2024, the six month grace period in Pi Network is active. And in this video, I'm going to cover exactly why it is important and what that means for each Pi Network user. But before I do that, as always, let's get the usual disclaimer out of the way first. Everything I share in this video is my personal opinion and in no way financial or professional advice of any kind. You should always do your own research, consult certified professionals, draw your own conclusions and make your own decisions. My name is Christian Rauchenwald and in this video I'm going to share the latest details about Pi Network 6 months KYC grace period with you and why you should make sure that you completed the entire mainnet checklist. First, however, here's your reminder to like, subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your friends so they are aware of the recent changes as well and don't risk losing their Pi coins. That said, the core team finally published the details regarding the six month grace period for all pioneers that was announced already in the 2021 white paper and aims to, on one hand, create a certain kind of urgency for pioneers to complete their KYZ applications and migrate to the mainnet, while at the same time making sure every user has more than enough time to do so. The entire six month period is split up into two different parts. First, pioneers have a total of three months to submit their initial KYZ application and then another three months to complete the rest of the mainnet checklist and with that the mainnet migration. To that end, the app will be updated in the future to add a countdown timer to the mainnet checklist as well as pop-ups and banners in other places to make sure every user is aware of the running countdown. For existing users, that means if you haven't already done so, you have until the 30th of September 2024 to submit your initial KYZ application and then until the 31st of December 2024 to complete the rest of the migration checklist. For new users, that means that every user will have their individual countdown running depending on when they joined the project. The timer will in that case then start once a user completes 30 mining sessions and becomes eligible to submit their KYZ application. It's important to point out that in both cases, so for new and for existing users, the timer will stop running while an action is pending. For example, if you are not eligible to apply for KYZ or your KYZ process is stuck for more than one month, or you passed KYZ but only with a tentative approval for now, the countdown will be paused until there is again an action for you to take, like for example, you are asked to resubmit your KYZ application or to perform a liveness check or to complete other mainnet checklist steps. In any case, whenever there is a new step to perform, users will have whatever time is left on their countdown, but at least one month time to perform the required action. Users that complete all steps within the required time frame will receive all Pi coins they mined migrated to their mainnet wallet. Those who miss the deadlines will, however, only receive coins they earned within six months prior to whenever the first mainnet migration happens. There should therefore be no reason to worry for anyone since there is more than enough time to perform the required actions and considering that the countdown pauses whenever you have to wait for something on the other end, it should be no problem for anyone to complete all the tasks on time. However, you definitely should get started if you didn't complete the migration checklist yet and make sure to complete any missing steps as soon as possible and also remind your friends so they don't end up forfeiting their pie just because they didn't bother to complete a step or two. That's it however for today. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below or even better, use the link in the video description down below to join our community on Discord and discuss Pi Network and other projects with the community and me there. Thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye bye.